All right, what's going on, guys? You guys, you guys can see another video. And if you, you know, came to my channel for today's video for like, you know, something really funny and happy, I'm sorry it's not gonna, you know, be like one of those videos. Because the main point of my channel is to entertain you guys and make sure you guys are happy with what I'm putting out. So I apologize. Just here and there, I usually have like a serious video or a video I want to just like talk about. So I've had people like DM me that I like to help with depression and stuff, and I so so happy i can do that because like you know my videos are just supposed to make you guys happy and whatnot and if you want to stick around for this video to hear what i want to talk about then you can but if not then just go on with your day and i totally respect that you guys know i've been doing youtube for you know a few years now and whatnot and uh it's one of those things that gets me where like everyone on youtube wants to do so well that's like the goal everyone wants to have like the highest views and like the best they can be and whatnot and i know youtube's like not doing that hot right now i totally understand that and that's not really my that's not really like my concern today and what has been going on in my life but i'm just like saying like people out there that like upload day like me and like your videos are your views are not there trust me it's the time of day it's the time of year that like where people are not going to be watching videos because one cod is like boring right now because the new cause haven't came out and they come out next week or like on the weekend so that's that your views will go up trust me don't stress it will go up because you know my channel is based around call of duty and even if i upload like different games and stuff you know obviously if you guys are not there for you know those games i understand because most of my channel is for call of duty so if i upload something different and it may not do as well so you got to realize that like you're gonna you have you're gonna have to branch out with uh, your viewers and if not stick to what works so basically the past few weeks i've been like really 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 struggling with being i want to say happy but you know i just I always have doubts in my mind and you know like, it sucks because like you know i have a great life i have i cannot say it i have a great life i live in a great house great family everything but you always have those certain things that just make you just depressed and i just get out of nowhere i can like this is how i work i could have like the best fucking day ever and then like something just shits on me and i know like one thing shouldn't ruin your day it really depends because you know like my life can is like like i said I can't be complaining about like where I live and like you know like my you know, my whole overall life. My life has been good for me. It's been good. But like personal problems and when it comes to what I'm thinking about and what I want to do with my life and just, everything just just crumbles down on me. And like you know sometimes like my parents say they have like those expectations for me and then sometimes I'm sitting there just like dude I cannot meet those and school is just garbage. I know school can be garbage to everyone. I understand that like school is it's not good it's it's garbage but like at the same time though like my level of like not liking school is on such a far 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 different level and like i'm the type of person to, like not trying school and when i have to get good grades i'll do it like i'll clutch up at the finals exams or whatever but, like through the whole year i'll be sitting there trying to grind youtube and trying to figure out my personal life and family problems and all this shit and i just i'm sad i just i don't know why but like a lot of things just I wouldn't say trigger me because trigger me could be like, you know, triggering could be like getting pissed off. I'm not really pissed off. I'm just like sad. And like, you guys got to realize that you make me happy. Liking my tweets, supporting me, giving me feedback on my videos, liking my videos. Just give me that support. That really gets me going. That, keep, that keeps me going. And like I said, I don't, I can't complain about how like my life's been because it hasn't been, I'm not like, you know, I come from like a really shitty home and like my parents are drug addicts. Like that, none of that, none of that. Like I live in California, great life, but people, there's always a certain, there's always certain things that like missing people and just fucking school and just being stressed out all the time. I'm stressed out 24 seven. I'm a night owl. I stay up late. I stay, I go to bed 3 a.m. every single day, even, even if I have class at 9 o'clock. Just always, I'm a thinker. I think about everything. I overthink things. I just overthink things. What if, what if I don't do this? If I don't upload now, am I just gonna like burn and just like YouTube's just gonna go, you know, just down for me like i always just think about like the negative and that's horrible you should think positive and i try to think positive carl carl texts me and i keep seeing my phone flash up. but anyways i'm like saying this because like that's another thing carl is has been one of the biggest impacts on me going through this community and whatnot and i don't care what you say i don't care what other people say but this actually makes me like kind of bummed out because people actually fucking think that i'm using carl for stuff i know sometimes i tweet out like oh yeah i'm moving i'm gonna move and like try to hang out with carl alicia and like live there for like two weeks and stuff like i know that can come off bad like oh yeah i'm going there for subs but really you gotta realize that carl and alicia have helped me through depression the past few weeks i always go to alicia and carl when i need help with something or i'm in a situation so you gotta realize that it's not all about you 
YouTube with our relationship. It, we are, Carl and I are like really, really, really good friends. And we talk about the most personal stuff. And it's just, you got to realize that like Carl and I are on a different level. Yes, we play Call of Duty. Yes, we make videos together, but we don't just talk about YouTube. Yes, that's like the thing we connect with. But you know, he comes to me with family problems. I go to him with family problems. You gotta realize that he's a normal human being. I'm a normal human being. Like it just, you gotta just realize that like, he's going out of his way to help me. And I, I appreciate that. He's been helping me since November. He tweets out my streams, you know, raids me, like makes videos with me. And I greatly am honored to like make videos with him. Because like, even though, even though I'm older than him, he's still one of my role models. Like he's still like the people I look, like one of the people I look up to. And like, if you're watching, you know, Carl, thank you so much. Like, the, you don't realize how much you mean to me. And that's pe people like that, that like, just like, you know, help me out with like personal problems and family issues. And like, I'll be completely honest here. Like, I don't even know, like, you know, who my friends are in the community anymore. Like, yes, I have those few true homies that I talk to every single day. And then you, you know exactly who you are. And of course, I have friends that I've known for like a long time through this community. I just don't talk to you because we're both busy or whatnot. But there's all, then like, half my friends just, you know, are backstabbing or like talk shit on me. I don't know, dude. Like, you know, like, if you are a true homie to me, you know who you are. And I thank you for that. I thank you for helping me out through all these hard times and just being there for me since the beginning. Or maybe we just, you know, met yesterday or something. You just like, if you know you're a true homie to me, thank you so much. I always try to be nice to people. I always try to help people out. And, you know, especially to like the true, true homies. And, you know, one of my friends, Otter, we don't talk as much. We really don't. But I've known him for a while in this community. And, you know, like we don't, we, we rarely, rarely talk. And I, was, I saw his girlfriend, Britt, tweeting out, like, I don't know her at all either. I, I've never talked to her. And, like, they were struggling to get, like, a motel for a few days because they were going to, like, move into, like, their apartment. And they needed a st place to stay for a few days. And I just wanted to get something just, like, you know, super, like, you know, like, low price and just, like, stay there for a few days. And, like, they were struggling. And... I guess Brit is a really good, you know, designer or whatever, and she wanted to sell some of her stuff to, you know, try to pay for this motel or whatever, and I felt really bad. People shouldn't be going through that. And, like, even though I did not know her at all, I knew Otter was a kind-hearted individual, and I know he would help me out. So I was like, you know what, I'll just send you 50 bucks. Like, I think the whole motel was, like, 110 or something, but, like, honestly, I'm not trying to say, like, oh, yeah, I have so much money, I'm shining or whatever, but, like, those are the people that I care about and, like, that I've helped, that they will help, like, Otter will, would help me out in that situation if I need that help he would help me out and like that's why i know i know he would help me out and i was like you know if you need that more than me in this situation so ha here have it and of course they're really appreciative and stuff and like honestly that's what i like love like i love helping true homies that will help me out and i just love that because i know he would have my back and i'm not like oh yeah like i i helped you out like i expect something in return it's no it's not like that but a true friendship if you need a homie's back you got their back and if like you need their help they got your back it's that simple of course you know we all have those family problems and stuff and like i know people are gonna be like oh well, your life's not horrible you live in california like you have a great life or whatever and like yeah i have a good life but at the same time like you don't there's a lot of stuff that you don't realize that's going on because like when it comes to youtube yes i'm gonna be personal with you guys but at the same time though there's some things i cannot just you know tell you guys it's just like that's how it is like there's all, everyone has like their personal life and stuff that's personal to them so like you know i'm gonna be on a personal level to a certain extent and I'm pretty, I'm, I think I'm pretty open with you guys when it comes to things. Like I make these videos like this, like I'm telling you guys, like, yeah, I'm, I've been depressed and that's why probably my videos haven't been like to the top of the top because you like, a few months ago, I was literally like, my videos were like, yeah, they were, I guess, you know, cut comms or like, you know, call of duty commentary, but they were like super high quality when it came to like, you know, like it wasn't just like, oh yeah, let me just talk to a camera. Like I was adding sound effects and transitions and like funny, like, you know, different, like, I guess like pop ins and pops out. Like I, I know you can't really call cuckum a high quality video, but you really, you, you can make it a high quality video with like, like depends on how you edit. It's all about how you edit the video to see how it turns out. And a lot of you guys are here for like, you know, my commentaries or whatever. I hate saying that, but like, you know, like I love branching out to different games and stuff. And you guys still are here. There's still so many people that just go to my video. I could be, I could be fucking uploading a video of me, you know, you know, taking a shit or something and you guys will still be there. Okay, I'm not going to do that, but still like I just, right now where I am with my channel, like right now with my life, it just like not, I'm not putting as much effort as I should into my videos. And I admit that I'm not, I'm a person that will admit things to you guys. And I know this video is going to be fucking like 10 minutes long or something. I really don't make that much of these videos, but when I do, I have to talk. I have to talk. I have to just let it out. And you guys make me, you guys make me happy. You do. And you know, just being oppressed and I have these problems, like having a, you know, a fan base that's always, always there for you. It's just like ridiculous. Like it's so insane. I cannot thank you guys enough. And I don't know. It's just, it's really weird how people just 
take time out of the day to watch my video and i appreciate that because i i put a, i have you know to get where i am today like i have grinded so fucking hard and like yes carl helped with the majority i understand that i i do i really really understand that and my my monitor just went off that's awkward but like honestly it's like you have to realize that yeah i know carl has you know gotten the more majority of my subs for me getting to this point it wasn't just like oh yeah like let's shout out this guy let's put him on an underrated youtube series because like you know he's cool or something like i i grinded videos for like eight months in a row and got 20 you know 20 likes a video 80 views like it, it wasn't just it didn't just come out of nowhere like you have to put in the effort to get you know somewhat outcome and people don't realize that like there's people that go on youtube that like just blow the fuck up off like one video and you're just like sick like what the what do they do like you know like that's what like that kind of you know makes me mad but jealousy is a thing like i'm I'm a jealous person when it comes to like, you know, like ex-girlfriends or, you know, losing friends or, you know, just people doing better than me or, you know, whatever. Like it's just being human, you're going to be jealous of people. You're, it's just how it is. And throughout these few weeks, I've just been, in, you know, getting jealous and like, you know, like I got to really, I should have focus on myself. Do not overthink. Cause I do, I overthink a lot. I really do. And it's like, it sucks, dude, because it makes you, it makes you sad. It makes you depressed because you start thinking like, you know, negative outcomes and like I, I'll go into a test and I'll study for eight hours and still get a bad grade and just I'm sitting there just like am I a failure? Am I failing you guys? Like am I not putting enough effort into my videos? Like why are my views dropping? But then you have to realize like no like other people's views are dropping and like it's just like I'm human. I make mistakes. I everyone's gonna you have to make you have to be you know make fails or you have to fail in life to have success. Like you have to be successful. Like, you, if you make fails in life, you're going to be successful. It's just how it is. Like, you can't just be successful. Everyone has gone through that stage in their life where they failed and, like, you know, they're going to be a successful outcome in the future. It's just that's how I believe. You know, hard work pays off. Maybe not right now. Maybe not next week. But it will pay off. You know, I was sitting at 1K subs and Carl came to me at, in November. And now I'm at 23,000 subscribers. Like, it just it doesn't happen overnight. You got to put in the work and you'll get the outcome. But I just really want to say all this stuff because, like, I, I'll be honest. I've, I've been depressed. I have been depressed. And you've probably seen in my videos. And it's just, like, I'm not just going to sit here for the next, like, week or two weeks or months or whatever and just be sad the whole time. I just got to just realize I have great family, friends, I have you guys, and I just got to just keep moving forward, be positive, everything will get better. What are you going to do about it, you know? You just got to keep moving forward and see what you can do. And I lastly want to just thank all you guys for like being there every single day for my videos. Like, you do not know how much it means to me. I'm not going to I'm not gonna start tearing up and shit. They're like, I, I mean, I'm close to you, but like, you got to realize like how much you make me happy. I'm not looking over here at my camera settings or my camera software. I'm looking at you. You're the one that makes me happy all the time, every single day. Thank you so much. Seriously, like you're, you guys make me happy. You guys are the MVP. Seriously, thank you so much.